So we won. Um, I didn't get exactly the result that I was hoping for, but um, we won. And that is all that matters, essentially. Um, I had a very, very tough judge, I feel. She was not going to take anything um, since the date of application into account. So everything that I had prepared, which was based on everything that's happened in the year following my application, she was not going to take into account whatsoever. It was all just literally think back to how exactly was your child at three. There was no, you know, he's four now. She said, she, at the beginning she said he's three and I was like, he's not three, he's four. And she was like, yeah, but we're not talking about now. We're talking about a year ago. There is no, you know, you can't stop going off on a tangent talking about now. We are talking about a year ago. Um, when we first walked in, she was very, um, well, she was just cold the majority. She softened slightly towards the end, but she was very, very cold at the beginning. It was very, you did feel like you were on trial. It was tough. Um, I feel like I've not slept in about 10 years because it's two hours, but it is the most draining thing possible. Um, every single answer that you give, they were trying to, well, we've got something here that contradicts. Um, the main thing being what I mentioned in my previous video about um, the Little Blossoms um, nursery report. So um, I, I don't even, I didn't even register that half these things were in here. The, um, the late, she wasn't the doctor, she was the, I don't know, somebody with some kind of disability background. And um, she kept pulling out things from that report, which, you know, well, they said that at that point he could dress himself. And I was like, my child's never been able to dress himself. Um, so I didn't even, and then you'd go back to him and I was like, well, even if, if he wasn't, that would mean he's trying to put his coat on. He's at nursery. He's not stood there in a pair of pants dressing himself. Like, so everything that she came at me with, I had a reply to, but everything I was saying, she would come at me. So um, nappy changes in this, um, report it it states that in nursery he's quite compliant having his nappy changed well he's compliant in in settings that doesn't mean that he's you know, he doesn't necessarily make his needs known there or how distressed he is but i can assure you when he's at home it's a whole different story so i just had to keep everything she said i wasn't going to accept oh yeah okay that's in black and white i was like nope 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 <laughs> um so i put up a bloody good fight and um, the doctor, I don't think the doctor asked that many questions, really. Um, because obviously, all they were basing it on was speech and language delays. Because we're looking at a year ago, and a year ago, we weren't so close to an autism diagnosis, and blah, blah, blah. So that word was not allowed. The solicitor said it once, and she was like, you're not a doctor, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> so we got, yeah, that was shut down. And we were like, right, okay, we'll just we'll stick to what is in black and white, which is speech and language delays. Um, it was, yeah, it was bloody, bloody tough. It was um, an hour of being interrogated. Um, the first thing that they were they were kind of unclear, um, obviously last year he was at Waylock, the um, language centre, and she kept saying, so that's a mainstream primary school because it's quite on primary school. And I was like, no. So everything, pretty much everything that, that they were trying to con they were trying to kind of catch me out, and I was just like, no, I've got out of that. No, no, got no answer. Thank God. Um, I did cry at one point, and I'm not quite sure why it was that point. It must have just been a build up because I wouldn't say that. I mean, it is a tough thing, but everything's a tough thing. Um, it was when we were talking about food for some reason. We were talking about the kind of meltdowns where I'd have to physically remove food from his mouth and then wipe out the inside of his mouth to get all traces of this food out um and yeah i just burst into tears could not get my words out they asked if i wanted to break i was like no no i'll carry on but then um yeah i don't know how they could even understand what i was saying because i was like talking through tears um so yeah so the when you first walked into the room there was literally kind of two tables facing each other with the clerk to the left so on the um the table of them as such there was the doctor the judge and this disability lady who i don't really know what her title is um and then on my my table was just my solicitor and myself um so the the judge kind of gave an overview of her views on the well not her views her understanding of the case to start with then passed to the doctor to ask questions then to the disability lady whatever she is 
Um, then the solicitor, my solicitor asked me a few questions just because there were things that he maybe thought I hadn't quite covered in the question. So he'd ask things that um, he wanted the judge to be aware of. So I'll try to think of an example. Um, I can't even remember. I'm so like exhausted, but I'll do a proper updated video. I just wanted to do one while it was all kind of fresh in my memory, but I'm so exhausted from it. Um, so yeah, they asked all their questions. The solicitor asked me a couple of questions just to kind of clarify, to make sure that there wasn't anything that he felt that had been missed. Um, and then we were sent out to wait for a decision. And that was at that point, because she'd been so, so harsh at the beginning. I genuinely thought that that was, that I thought I might as well just go home now, not gonna win. Um, yeah, it was, it was a long, I don't know how long it was, maybe like 20 minutes sat outside waiting for the decision, but it felt like 10 years. It was the longest time ever. And then they'd call me back in. I don't think it always happens like this. I think sometimes um, they would tell you that your decision will just be sent out in the post. Um, so yeah, I went back in for the decision the solicitor had sort of said it would be in front of you on the table, but there was just all these words and it said, your appeal has been accepted, which I just thought meant it's not been thrown out of court. I didn't quite register what that meant, but no, that means that you have won. Um, so she went through first of all the bits that he hadn't been awarded. So I was like, oh my God, so she was saying we couldn't consider this, we can't consider that. Uh, it was obviously motability because of his age. And then um, she started going about night time and this, that and the other. And I was thinking, oh my God, we've lost. Um, so I was like, did you not read that line? I was like, yeah, but I thought that meant that it had gone ahead. I didn't realise that that meant you run. Um, so yeah, all in all a victory. Um, not quite the level that I'd have hoped for, but that is because she could not or would not take anything past the 15th of September. So like the date that was on my initial application, she would not take any evidence or any answers based on anything since then. So she basically said that award goes for two years, which means we're over halfway through that two years now anyway. Um, so I've got to kind of like, now I'm like, oh my God, it's over. No, she basically said, well, you may as well reapply now with his circumstances now and get it hired to the level that you want. So basically, no, it's not over. <laughs> But I'm going to wait until he's five because there's not really much point, obviously, doing any of that until he turns five because then we can add the mobility element into mobility, whatever it is, element into it. Um, so that's only like four or five months away, but it means hopefully that one will be a tribunal. There is that risk that they can take away the award you already have, but that's tribunal awarded. So I can't imagine DWP, we'd hope DWP wouldn't try and take off you something that court have awarded you so yeah it's been a bit of a ramble because I'm very tired very emotional but I just wanted to get it but well, it was kind of fresh in my memory although I'm sure I do a better one of when I've actually sat down and like processed it all um but yeah that's it